Hey peeps, Pixie Poison here, coming at you with another vlog, the first vlog of 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I know it's been quite a while since the last proper one. I think it was what, June, I think, just after I've been to MCM in May. Um, you may notice I have more wall deco now in my flat. Um, but as I've said previously, I only really make proper vlogs if I have something to talk about or something to share, and usually I don't. But luckily, this time, I have lots to say and lots to share. So, let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself, just couldn't. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you guys is just under a month ago, I think, my channel finally reached 400 subscribers. Ah! Oh my days! That was pretty awesome. Thank you so much, peeps. I love you so, so much, and I am so grateful. You peeps are the reason I do this. And to the ones who have been with me pretty much since day one, thank you so much for sticking with me this long. And for maybe the new subscribers who have only just subscribed or only recently subscribed, thank you so much for joining me on my Let's Play adventures, and I hope you will enjoy what I give to you. So, mwah, much love to all of you. Second thing I want to share with you is obviously I have lots of convention and cosplay plans. I wouldn't be pixie if I didn't. Um, so most of you who have kept up to date with my Twitter will have seen that I've been working on Kira from Jack and Daxter. And I've made a little more progress since this picture was taken. Um, I've got some boots which are absolutely awesome and so comfortable. Um, I just need to crop the top and finish off the gauntlets and it should be all ready. So she shall be debuting in London MCM in May. I think it's the 25th to the 27th. I'm not too sure about that. Double check. But it's definitely the last weekend in May. That's when Kira is going to make her debut. But I have another cosplay that's going to debut even sooner. As you may have noticed recently, I have become obsessed by the Blackwell saga of games by Wadjet Eye Games. They are such good point and click adventure games with great characters, great storyline, and great gameplay. I'm just hooked on them. And as most of you noticed, I'm doing a let's play of them. I'm starting with the Blackwell legacy and working through them all. And in the vein of can't resist, as I couldn't resist doing those let's plays, I couldn't resist doing a cosplay of Rosa Blackwell. And she is going to make her debut at London Anime and Gaming Con on Friday the 16th of February. I've paid for it, it's done, I've got the day off from work. It's going to be awesome, okay? So that's London Anime and Gaming Con on Friday the 16th of February. I will be there. If you're there, please come over and say hi. I won't buy. It will be awesome to see you. And speaking of convention adventures, just before Christmas, I may have splashed out a little bit and got myself some Pixie Poison business cards. <laughs> Pixie Poison cosplay and let's play and there's all my little links with my ivy and my sly on the front <laughs> they turned out so good and i'm absolutely in love with them so yeah i will have these to hand out when i go to cons which is going to be really really cool because often when people take pictures of me i hardly ever see that photo again i either come across it by accident or somebody else happens to tag me in it i never seem to find them and most of the pictures i've seen look really really good and it's like i'd really like to be typing them so at least now i have these they're blank on the back so i can write what character i am and it's like here here's my card this is who i was tag me please the next thing i want to talk to you guys about actually concerns an idea that was brought about by one of my youtube friends um on a video that he made for basically like his new year's resolution as it will i know you're all probably aware about the new uh, the new occurrences regarding youtube monetization and all the palaver that's come out of that i know lots of people have commented on it and you know, I have my own opinions on it. it. It sucks. It sucks major balls. It really does. You know, any sane person on the planet wants to make money doing something that they love. That That's just human nature. Um, but yeah, I do feel as small YouTubers are being pushed out and it's not, it's not very fair. But um, away from all the negative, away from the negative crap, we know it sucks. It sucks. Blech. 
positives. So my friend, who's called the Humble Gamer on YouTube, he came up with an idea to combat this YouTube monetization shite. And basically, he floated the idea that because the ones that are going to be the most hit are the ones under a thousand subscribers, because obviously they're not eligible for monetization anymore, um, on the video he said um, if you want to post a link to your channel or someone else's channel that you know that's under a thousand subscribers do it I will green light it I will look at your stuff and if I like it I will subscribe and anyone else who's watching can look and subscribe as well and I think that's a really good idea it's a good way of supporting each other's creativity and supporting these small channels help I'm I'm a small YouTuber myself, so I am going to reinforce this idea and so if you have a channel that's under a thousand subs or you know a person that has, drop it in the comments below, I will look at it and if I like it I will subscribe to it and anyone else who watches this video, feel free to look at those channels and please, please subscribe if you like their stuff. Obviously we're not going to force you to subscribe if you don't like the stuff, that's just silly. But if you do like the stuff, definitely subscribe and support these small content creators because God knows we need it now. Following on from this vein, I thought that because my channel has hit 400 subscribers, I thought I would give four special shout outs to four channels that I subscribe to and love that are coincidentally under a thousand subscribers. So if you like these four channels, the links are in the description, so please do check them out. Number one, The Humble Gamer. I can't very well start off this list without the guy whose idea it was originally to do this. This guy is actually one of my old university friends who was in the year above me at university. He is an awesome guy. He started doing Let's Play I think just a little bit after I did, but he's made some awesome stuff in the time he's had his channel. At the moment he's playing a lot of um, Tropico 4 and Train Simulator, which is really cool. He's also got a Minecraft series called Minecraft Realms, which is really, really fun. Um, he collaborates on that one with Naz Dragonheart, who I collaborated with on Torchlight 2, and the Fireblades and Agent Blaby, and it is absolutely hilarious. It's so funny. I definitely recommend that one. Also, if you're into D&D, he's also running a D&D 3.5 campaign, which is called The Black Sun. It's kind of like a, I suppose, kind of a Star Trek Mass Effect-ish kind of, kind of campaign. It's really, really interesting. I definitely recommend it, giving it a watch. Number two, Serendipitia. Oh my days, Tia is so lovely, she's so so sweet. She's a fellow northern lass like me, so the bond is there, the bond is there. She makes some really cool stuff, like she's been playing Final Fantasy VII blind on Twitch, that has been, that's been so much to watch, it's basically the awakening when you play Final Fantasy VII for the first time. Um, she also plays a lot of kind of like JRPGs, anime style games, she's playing a visual novel at the moment called Fault Milestone 1, I think that's what it is. That's quite fun to watch. But also she does a machinima series that's basically kind of like kind of like a teen like a teen drama or rom com based on The Sims 4. Basically it's The Sims 4 recorded and edited to look like a series and it's so so cool and so so fun and well put together. I'm not sure of all the people she collaborates with on that, but she collaborates with a lot of people and the, it's, it's really entertaining to watch, I recommend it. Number three, no skill required. I subscribed to her maybe about, I think it was maybe a few months ago, and I was particularly drawn to her because she was playing a game called Tokyo Dark, which is kind of, it's kind of like a visual novel, but it's also like a point and click adventure games, which anyone who knows me knows I absolutely love. And listening to her commentary and how she how she plays and how she reacts to things, I see a lot of me in there, and I can't not be fascinated by it. And she's got so so many little quirky mannerisms. Well, I say mannerisms, more voice isms. Is that a thing? But yeah, she is really really cool. If you like your visual novel and your point and clicks, go and check her out. She's also doing a let's play of Prey, as in the new the new Prey game that was only out maybe last year. That looks so, so fun. It's not my type of game, but it is fascinating to watch and to watch her play it. So yeah, if you like those type of things, definitely check her out. And finally, number four, Pinstripe Paragon. 
Oh, this guy is so, so lovely. I've been watching his stuff for quite a while now. He does, actually, he does a lot of JRPGs, but he does a lot of retro games as well. So he's done, like, he's done Spyro the Dragon. He's, he's done all three Spyro the Dragons, I think. Um, and they are super, super cool to watch. It's good to see someone else embracing the nostalgia. One thing that's so cool to watch is watching him um, play uh, Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. And the first video of the first Crash Bandicoot, his reactions to it were like, they were like my reactions to seeing the Monkey Island Special Edition. It was like, wow. <laughs> and it's so beautiful to listen to him being so much in awe of this game. So yeah, if you like your classic retro games, he also does a, a let's play of Vandal Hearts, as in the original Vandal Hearts. That is going back some. That was a game that I only, I only saw other people play, I never actually owned, but it's like, wow, this is really cool. So like, it was a chance to relive that. So yeah, if you love your nostalgia, Pinstripe Paragon is your guy. And that's it, peeps. That's all I have to share. So remember, if you want to leave your channel or someone else's channel in the comments, go for it. I will green light it. I will look at it. Anyone else who wants to look at it, please look at the channels. If you like them, subscribe to them. The links for all the guys I've just mentioned are in the description, so please have a look at their stuff. I hope you're all doing fantastically. Thank you for joining me for this first vlog of 2018, and I wish you all the best. So, Peace out, peeps.